So the very first ring deck was actually for radar and was then used in, in an ADC, the 900 series in studios, and we've been evolving it for, for 30 years now. It began life long before I joined the company and I've been here for 22 years now. But throughout that time, uh, it's been subject to improvements and enhancements as we've seen fit and as technology has allowed. The Ring DAC is a very novel architecture in that it makes a quite ingenious compromise between quantization noise and sampling jitter, which gives you excellent performance. And importantly, it gives you excellent performance in the ways that are really important for the human ear. So with the Ring DAC, we kind of sitting somewhere in the sweet spot between absolute precision and timing accuracy. And as a result, it gives extremely good performance. The fundamental architecture has evolved over 30 years, and the technology that we can use has improved over that time, and we've been able to exploit those evolutions. I think a lot of people think we're mad for designing our own discrete DAC, and they're probably right. It certainly has its headaches as well as its joys, and you may wonder why we bother to do it. I suppose the simple answer is because we can make it work better than, than any of the off-the-shelf solutions. Apex really started a number of years ago, I think, when you know we looked at the mappers and the algorithm at the core of the ring deck. And that was a pure software project. And from there, that evolved into Chris looking at the analog section. So moving from software into hardware and, and what he could do there. And that was really a kind of blank sheet. You know, look at how the ring deck performs and behaves, how the output stage performs and behaves, and then see if you can improve it in any areas. One of the challenges with improving an already excellent product is where do you start? What do you improve? And I think once you do start looking, you always start seeing something. You know, most times when you're chasing a particular problem, you'll see two or three other things which are also intriguing and then lead you up different lines of investigation. You have to always be looking for the next improvement, no matter how small it is. Marginal gains mount up over time. And so you have to be that inquisitive nature of you see something that's, that perhaps is, isn't quite what it should be and going in and actually looking at it and spending the time and delving deep and understanding the actual fundamental problems you're trying to address. So I think if you have that attitude of, I suppose, being curious and of wanting to improve things, then you don't have to look for long before you find something where you think you can do a bit better. That's kind of what drives our engineers, that's what drives me is we want to be the best. I think it's in our DNA as a company that it's almost relentless. So there's that constant drive to add new features, add new functions, um, improve reliability, but also kind of stay state of the art, you know? And I think because it's all proprietary software that we develop in-house and it runs on our own boards and platform, you don't have the same constraints that other companies have. The world is always improving, technology is improving. We have a very fundamental desire to be the best. So it's, it's that kind of ethos of just continually trying to you know, remain at the forefront. And that's what drives us. And so we're not interested in taking shortcuts. We're not interested in taking the easy routes. We want to be the best. The world doesn't stand still. So you have to keep working, you have to keep evolving, and you have to keep being innovative. Great audio should draw you in, um, engage with you and excite you. And I think Apex does that. It does it in spades. And it's got everything that we think synonymous with DCS. There's detail, there's resolution, but it's just emotionally involving and it just has a feeling. It's an amazing achievement from the team to take what was already state of the art and not just improve it on the measured performance level, but to bring something that you can kind of feel and hear.